In this video, we'll find the volume of this cone that's depicted here in blue as a double integral. The cone surface is given by the equation z squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. I'm just going to look at the portion of, the, of that equation, of that surface sitting above the xy plane, so when z is greater than 0. And then we're going to cut it off at z equal to 1, and we want to find the volume between the xy plane and z equal 1 enclosed by that blue cone. To do so, we're going to do it as a double integral. I've arbitrarily chosen the order of integration, and I have to decide what we're going to integrate. So first, let's just think about what the region of integration should be. In order to do that, I'm going to project that cone and all the points in that cone down onto the xy plane. And when I do that, I get a circle of radius 1. Because when z is equal to 1, that's the widest that this cone gets, it's 1 is equal to x squared plus y squared, so that's the total shadow or projection of that region onto the xy plane. I've chosen to do the y limits of integration last, so I'm going to calculate them or determine what they should be first. Because it's a circle of radius 1, y is ranging between negative 1 and 1. I'm now going to fix a typical value of y in that range and look at the slice of the region that it determines. And it enters there at the uh, left-hand point and exits here at the right-hand point. And if I want to figure out the value of x that goes with them, I just take my circle equation, solve it for x, and I get a positive or negative radical. This is the negative side. That's the positive side. And here's my limits of integration, the negative square root and the positive square root. Now just fix a typical point, x, y, sitting in my region. I've drawn one, one sitting here, so x, y there. And in the three-dimensional picture, it's a point sitting under the cone in its shadow, uh, x, y, with a 0, z coordinate. And I want to think about extending a line vertically parallel to the z axis through my region, and it's going to enter the cone and exit at the top there at that plane, z equal to 1. And by thinking about where it enters and exits, I find the function that I need to integrate. I should be looking at the difference. I should, I should be looking at the difference of my two functions now. I should be taking the difference between uh, z equal to 1, that's the top height, and then taking away from that the bottom of this, the bottom surface, the cone. So I'm going to solve that equation for z, and z is the square root of x squared plus y squared, the positive square root. And so I just take their difference and integrate that expression. This is probably most naturally done in polar coordinates, so why don't we convert to polar coordinates and actually do the calculation. I have 1 minus, well, x squared plus y squared is r squared. And because I'm converting to polar coordinates, now I have r and then dr d theta. I'm integrating that over a circle of radius 1, so theta will need to go from 0 to 2 pi and then r will need to go from 0 to 1. The square root of r squared is equal to r. Don't take that for granted. There is a little convincing that needs to be done. In principle, the square root of a uh, square is the absolute value of that expression, but because I'm integrating r between 0 and 1, it, it's a non-negative value, and its absolute value is really itself. So I can replace r squared the square root of that with r. And then we'll expand the terms. I'll have r minus r squared, and that's a straightforward integration. Just integrate each of those two terms, and you should get pi over 3. You can check me that I have the correct answer.